Hello everyone, welcome back to Analytical Guy. This is the place where you will find everything related to data. And if you are in data analytics profile or the data scientist profile, you would like to subscribe this channel so that you can get more videos related to data. So in this video, I'm trying to combine various files which are residing in one folder using Power Query. So for example, let's take a use case when you have 12 months uh, in a year of course right so you you will have 12 different files in one folder how can I combine all those 12 different files in just one file so that I can do the analysis on it so you can do it manually just open all the files and copy paste in one file and that's it but this is not the right approach of course how we can automate that so in this video I'll explain you step by step so first of all, I didn't have the data. So what I did is I used the Python script to generate the random data. So if you see, I have imported the pandas and numpy uh, and faker as well. So faker is used to generate random uh, data. So I have uh, five columns in my uh, data set. That is date, product ID, product name, sales amount and quantity, right? Now I have defined generate underscore random underscore data as my function where I am uh, giving data is equal to this five columns and how these columns would be. So first will be my date range starting from this date and uh, it will uh, have the frequency of days. Then I have a uh, random integer on product ID, so and so forth. So this is how I'm generating data. And once this is done, so I'll have four different months, January, February, March, April, if you have 12 months and just go ahead and create them and uh, then i have uh, used the for loop so that uh, it can uh, loop in for each and every value of the months and it will generate and uh, i'm finally exporting it to the excel and it will be loaded in the same uh, folder where my uh, python program is running all right so once i ran this so i could generate these four files so now let's go ahead with the next steps all right, so this is my folder Excel combine where I will have all the files related to my month sales data. So if you can see over here, I have April month, Feb, Jan and March. These four Excel files I have, which I have to import in my Power Query so that I can combine them, right? So you can see there are so many other files uh, with different uh, type. Uh, but I don't want them to be included. So we will see this as well in Power Query. So if I go to Microsoft Excel, this is my blank sheet right now. So what I'll do is I'll just go to data tab and click on get data, right? So once you go and get data, click on from file and select on from folder because we have to select a particular folder, right? So just select Excel combine um, and click on open. Once you click on open, you will get the list of all the files which are present in this particular folder repository. So you can see all these names are there. So all the content with the type MP4 or Python file, we don't want them, right? So extension uh, is very important for us. We have to just use XLSX. So what I'll do is the first step would be to transform. I really love to transform first because uh, you might uh, see some of the error because data is never clean. So once I click on transform, it will be redirected to Power Query Editor. So this is where we have all the data, right? So first of all, I can uh, select or I can sort from here itself if I just want to have XLSX uh, extension only. So just uh, first unselect everything and then select XLSX and click OK. So now you can see only my data related to XLSX is there. So I'm fine with it. Now next step is if you click on two down arrow keys, so it will expand the data for me. And it might take a couple of minutes. And once it is there, just select on sheet one because there is just one sheet which we want to have and click OK. So just uh, make sure, so whenever you are importing the uh, sheets from here, if the extension is CSV file, if it is comma separated value file, it won't be imported because currently we are just filtering out SLXX, right? So now you can see here, once I did, 
uh, you will have two main options. You will see so many things, but two main options are transform sample file. This is the sample file uh, which will be kind of a template uh, that you will use or you can do editing here. It will be replicated to all the data that you have over here. And then there is one parameter one as sample. So if you want to change the current value, you can manage this parameter. So if you have worked on Power BI and if you have seen my previous videos on parameters, you will be able to understand what I'm talking about. So if I go back to my Excel combine sheet, if you click on source name, you will see all the files which are there, right? April, Feb, Jan, March. So this is perfect. And over here, so if you see uh, my date has been ABC123, which is absolutely wrong. So what happened was, so when I was uh, doing all the cleaning part, it, this change type step automatically got there. So I want to delete this. I don't want this to happen. Right. So now this is fine. What I'll do is I'll select all the columns and go to transform and click on detect data type. So let's see what it does. Now it is still one, two, three, ABC one, two, three, because there are some of the columns of values like this as dates and some are like numeric. So what I'll do is click here, click on data date. So now everything is sorted over here. And if I go, this is ABC, this is one, two, three, ABC 1.2, that is decimal and one, two, three is quantity. So that is perfect. So now my data is absolutely cleaned and click on close and load. If I close and load, it will load into my existing or the current Excel file. And this is what I have, right? So within, within two minutes, I have the combined file. So what happens is if uh, your table or file is updated, it will update over here as well automatically. You don't have to worry about it. So right now there are four files. You can see everything. Let's say if I go back here, and in the month of, let's say, January, I add a row, for example, over here, copy this and paste over here, just to differentiate a product name, let's say, make it generative AI, right? And make this as one, two, nine, quantity as seven, that's it. So just remember the product name as generative AI. I'm saving this and closing this file. All right. So if I go back here, if I filter over here, contains, let's say generative and press OK. So nothing's there, right? So it is all blank. So what I'll do is go to data, refresh the data. Once I click on refresh, it should refresh from the source data and it should give me. So now once I refresh the file, you will see in January month, I got the product name generative AI sales amount 129 quantity S7. So this is how you can get the data as combined. And this is so easy, easily done by Power Query. So it's really important for you to understand how Power Query works. If you want to understand more about Power Query, there, there are so many videos I have created on Power Query, how to clean your data, how to transform your data, how to load your data from Power Query. So it is really useful if you're an Excel user or even if you are a Power BI user. So it's really handy. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is it for this particular concept. Thanks a lot for watching guys.